Camera opens on a professor standing in front of a whiteboard professor. Good morning, everyone. Today, we are going to delve into the fascinating world of biochemistry and explore the intricate mechanisms of hormone signaling and its impact on lipid metabolism. Adipose tissue hormone signaling plays a crucial role in regulating our body's lipid synthesis, storage, breakdown, and energy balance. Throughout this session, we will discuss the major players involved in this intricate dance and how they influence our overall metabolic health. Cut to a title card. 1. Adipose tissue hormone signaling and its impact on lipid metabolism. In the role of insulin in regulating lipid synthesis and storage, insulin plays a key role in maintaining lipid homeostasis. It promotes lipid synthesis by activating specific enzymes involved in fatty acid and triglyceride synthesis. Insulin also inhibits lipolysis, which prevents the release of fatty acids from adipose tissue. Furthermore, insulin stimulates glucose uptake in adipose tissue, which enhances the storage of glucose as triglycerides. These coordinated actions of insulin ensure proper regulation of lipid metabolism and contribute to overall metabolic health. Professor, moving on, let's discuss the vital role of insulin in regulating lipid metabolism. Insulin, produced by the pancreas, acts as a key hormone in controlling glucose and lipid homeostasis. Upon a rise in blood glucose levels, insulin is released, signaling the cells to take up glucose for energy production. Insulin also plays a crucial role in lipid synthesis and storage. It promotes the synthesis of fatty acids within the liver, muscle, and adipose tissues. These synthesized fatty acids are then stored as triglycerides in adipose tissue, providing an energy reserve for future use. However, in conditions of insulin resistance or diabetes, this regulation gets disrupted. The impaired insulin signaling leads to inefficient clearance of glucose and increased lipolysis, resulting in elevated levels of free fatty acids in the blood. These excessive fatty acids can further contribute to insulin resistance and the development of metabolic disorders. Cut to a title card. 3. Mechanisms of glucagon action on lipid breakdown in adipose and liver tissues. Professor, let's now explore the mechanisms of glucagon, a hormone released by the pancreas, in regulating lipid breakdown. During times of fasting or low blood glucose, glucagon levels rise, signaling the liver to undergo glycogenolysis and gluconeogenesis to produce glucose. However, glucagon also plays a role in adipose and liver tissue lipid breakdown. It activates hormone-sensitive lipase, an enzyme responsible for hydrolyzing triglycerides into glycerol and fatty acids in adipose tissue. These released fatty acids are then transported to the liver, where they undergo beta-oxidation to produce energy. This hormonal interplay between insulin and glucagon ensures a delicate balance in lipid metabolism, preventing excessive lipid storage while providing an adequate energy supply. Cut to a title card. 4. Thyroid Hormone Influence on Lipid Metabolism and Energy Balance Professor, moving on to thyroid hormones, they are essential regulators of metabolism, including lipid metabolism. The thyroid gland produces thyroxine, T4, and triiodothyronine, T3, which control the basal metabolic rate, heat production, and energy expenditure. Thyroid hormones promote lipolysis in adipose tissue by increasing the activity of hormone-sensitive lipase. They also enhance the expression of uncoupling proteins, which dissipate energy as heat instead of storing it as lipids. This phenomenon is crucial in maintaining body temperature and preventing obesity. Cut to a title card. 5. The role of growth hormone and insulin like growth factor 1, IGF-1, in modulating lipid metabolism. Professor, let's now discuss the role of growth hormone, GH, and insulin like growth factor 1, IGF-1, in modulating lipid metabolism. GH produced by the pituitary gland, stimulates the release of IGF-1 from the liver. Together, GH and IGF-1 promote lipolysis in adipose tissue by activating hormone-sensitive lipase. Additionally, GH and IGF-1 enhance lipolysis indirectly by decreasing insulin sensitivity, which leads to increased levels of free fatty acids in the blood. These released fatty acids serve as an energy source for various tissues during periods of fasting or increased energy demands. Cut to a title card. 6. Regulatory Role of Corticosteroids in Adipose Tissue Lipolysis and Lipid Mobilization Professor, now, let's focus on the regulatory role of corticosteroids in adipose tissue lipolysis and lipid mobilization. Corticosteroids, primarily cortisol, are essential hormones released by the adrenal glands in response to stress or low blood glucose. Cortisol increases lipolysis by activating hormone-sensitive lipase in adipose tissue, releasing fatty acids into the bloodstream. These fatty acids can then be utilized as an energy source during stressful situations or prolonged fasting. However, chronic exposure to high cortisol levels, 
such as in Cushing syndrome, can lead to excessive lipolysis, resulting in increased visceral fat deposition and subsequent metabolic complications. Cut to a title card. 7. Adiponectin signaling and its implications for lipid metabolism and insulin sensitivity. Professor, let's explore the role of adiponectin, an adipose tissue hormone, in lipid metabolism and insulin sensitivity. Adiponectin enhances fatty acid oxidation in peripheral tissues, such as skeletal muscles, by activating AMP-activated protein kinase, AMPK. By increasing AMPK activity, adiponectin promotes insulin sensitivity, prevents excessive lipid accumulation, and reduces the risk of metabolic disorders like diabetes. Moreover, adiponectin has anti-inflammatory effects that further protect against insulin resistance and atherosclerosis. Cut to a title card. 8. Leptin's effects on appetite regulation, lipolysis, and lipid partitioning. Professor, let's dive deeper into the multifaceted effects of leptin on appetite regulation, lipolysis, and lipid partitioning. Leptin, primarily secreted by adipose tissue, acts on the hypothalamus, suppressing appetite and promoting satiety. Leptin also stimulates lipolysis by activating hormone-sensitive lipase in adipose tissue, leading to the breakdown of stored triglycerides into fatty acids. Moreover, Leptin influences lipid partitioning, directing fatty acids to be stored in specific depots rather than being released into the bloodstream. However, in conditions of leptin resistance, as seen in obesity, the appetite-suppressing effects of leptin are blunted, leading to hyperphagia and subsequent weight gain. Cut to a title card. 9. Role of sex hormones, estrogen, testosterone, in lipid metabolism and body fat distribution. Professor, now let's discuss the role of sex hormones, such as estrogen and testosterone, in lipid metabolism and body fat distribution. Estrogen, predominantly synthesized in the ovaries, plays a critical role in maintaining metabolic homeostasis in females. In females, estrogen promotes fat deposition in subcutaneous adipose tissue, protecting against visceral fat accumulation, which is associated with higher metabolic risks. Estrogen also suppresses lipolysis by inhibiting hormone-sensitive lipase, decreasing the release of free fatty acids into the bloodstream. Similarly, testosterone, primarily produced in the testes in males, influences lipid metabolism by increasing muscle mass and basal metabolic rate. This higher muscle mass contributes to increased energy expenditure, decreasing the risk of excessive lipid storage and metabolic disorders. Cut to a title card. 10. Regulation of lipoprotein production by hormones, especially in relation to atherogenesis. Professor, next, let's discuss the regulation of lipoprotein production by hormones, particularly its implications for atherogenesis. Hormones like insulin, thyroid hormones, and glucocorticoids play significant roles in modulating the synthesis and clearance of lipoproteins, which transport lipids in the bloodstream. Insulin stimulates the synthesis of very low-density lipoproteins, VLDL, within the liver, Elevated insulin levels, often seen in insulin resistance, lead to increased VLDL secretion, contributing to dyslipidemia and atherosclerosis. Thyroid hormones influence lipoprotein metabolism by modulating the expression of lipoprotein receptors, modifying their clearance from the bloodstream. Hypothyroidism is associated with decreased high-density lipoprotein HDL, levels, while hyperthyroidism often leads to increased LDL cholesterol levels. Furthermore, Glucocorticoids promote the synthesis of triglycerides and cholesterol, increasing the production of low-density lipoproteins, LDL, and very low-density lipoproteins, VLDL. These hormonal imbalances contribute to the development of atherogenic lipid profiles and increased cardiovascular risks. Cut to a title card. 11. Role of gastrointestinal hormones in regulating lipid absorption and metabolism. Professor, now let's focus on the role of gastrointestinal hormones in regulating lipid absorption and metabolism. These gut hormones play a fundamental role in signaling satiety, nutrient absorption, and energy homeostasis. Cholecystokinin, CCK, released upon the ingestion of dietary fats, regulates gallbladder contraction, promoting the release of bile acids and pancreatic enzymes. Bile acids aid in the emulsification and absorption of dietary fats, while pancreatic lipase breaks down triglycerides into fatty acids and glycerol for absorption. Additionally, glucagon-like peptide 1, GLP-1, and peptide Y, PYY, act on the brain to induce satiety, reduce appetite, and delay gastric emptying, ultimately impacting lipid absorption and metabolism. Cut to a title card. 12. Impact of stress hormones, catecholamines, glucocorticoids, on lipid metabolism and obesity-associated disorders. Professor, 
Lastly, let's explore the impact of stress hormones, specifically catecholamines, for example, adrenaline, and glucocorticoids, on lipid metabolism and obesity-associated disorders. During stressful situations, the body releases catecholamines, which stimulate lipolysis in adipose tissue, releasing fatty acids for energy production. However, chronic stress and the associated sustained elevation of glucocorticoids can lead to dysregulated lipid metabolism. Increased glucocorticoid levels promote insulin resistance and favor the accumulation of visceral fat. This interplay of stress hormones and lipid metabolism contributes to the development of obesity and its associated disorders. Cut to a title card, conclusion. In summary, understanding how hormones regulate lipid metabolism is essential for understanding metabolic disorders like obesity, diabetes, and heart disease. Hormones like insulin, glucagon, thyroid hormones, growth hormone, corticosteroids, adiponectin, leptin, sex hormones, gastrointestinal hormones, and stress hormones work together to maintain lipid balance. By understanding these processes, we can develop targeted treatments for obesity and metabolic disorders, improving overall health. The field of biochemistry is constantly advancing, and our knowledge of hormonal regulation and lipid metabolism is the foundation for further progress.